So if you're looking for tips on how to paint MDF, this video shows the steps that I've used successfully in getting a proper and durable finish. MDF boards falls broadly under two categories. One is your bog standard MDF sheet. And then you have the professional grade MR MDF, that's moisture resistant, which is more expensive. In this video, we'll talk about the normal MDF sheet that you can get from a local box store. The first step is to use this product called a MDF sealer. If you are planning on using MDF as part of a project, you will need to seal it before painting, as moisture can cause the material to distort and swell, especially if it has got routed edges. This product does exactly what you expect it to do. That is, it'll prime and seal your MDF and is very quick to dry. After the first coat, lightly denib it and then apply the second coat. You can use it on jobs like display units, cabinets and other projects. It normally takes around 2-4 to four hours to dry and then apply your primer. Here I am using a dark primer as my final paint color is a dark shade of blue. You can see that the primer goes in pretty quickly and that's because the surface is now sealed. So apply two coats of this if required and then let's move on to the next step and that is painting. I'm just using normal wall paint here, nothing fancy like a purpose built furniture paint or things like that. For applying the paint, I use a sponge pad and this will give it a real smooth finish. I found it way easier than using brushes and rollers. And now for the fourth and final step and that's applying a coat of protective varnish on it. In this instance, I use polyurethane varnish and I just brushed it on. So let's just recap. The overall process involves just two coats of MDF sealer, two coats of primer, followed by two coats of paint, and then two coats of varnish. And for the best finish, you have to denib it between all coats other than the last layer of varnish. Now, some of you may ask if the process is any different if you are spraying it rather than using brushes. Well, I'm happy to say that the process is exactly the same. The key thing is to wear a respirator and some hearing protection. You do not want to be breathing in this thin layer of airborne paint particulates all into your lungs. Here I'm spraying in the primer. Before the step, I had already sealed the surface using a brush and that's why I'm not showing that part again. Now to get the thick primer flow through my HVLP sprayer, I had diluted it with around 5% of water. You don't have to be exact with this measurement, but just make sure that the final lightly thinned down combination can flow freely as stated in your sprayer's manual. And you can see the results after two coats of primer. It looks really good. After this, lightly denib the surface with a 320 grit paper. You are not looking at rubbing the primer off, it's just a light run around and that's just to knock out any high spots caused by settling dust and the likes. Then clean up the dust with a vacuum and finally clean it all down with a damp cloth. Next is the paint. So I poured the paint into a jar and I diluted it with around 10% of water again. The aim here is to reduce the viscosity of the paint so that we can spray it freely through this HVLP sprayer. Now keep shaking the paint until it mixes thoroughly with water and when you think it's enough, keep shaking it a bit more and then some more. To remove any paint sediments and the likes, filter the mixture through this micron mesh. I will leave an affiliate link down if you are interested in checking it out. Just to reiterate, I'm using the same products that I had used while I was hand brushing it. I haven't used more expensive purpose-built sprayable primer or paint in this project. One tip while spraying is not to concentrate your nozzle at any given point. You have to keep moving it in an even pattern. And if you missed a spot, don't worry, you can always get it back in the next round of spraying. Next, I denib between coats with an ultra-fine steel wool. And then cleaned up all the surfaces. If you concentrate the nozzle at one place, it can cause a puddle and then to get out from that situation, you can use a hand brush and brush the puddle out. If you're wondering, this is a cheap sprayer from Screwfix and it costed around £50. So after denibbing it and cleaning out the dust, it's time to apply the varnish. Now I diluted the varnish with around 5% of white spirit, shook the whole jar well 
and used a micron mesh to pour the contents into the sprayer. And that's how it all looks after a few days. Absolutely brilliant finish and all done from your home. Now this paint job is part of a secret compartment drawer build and that video should be out in the next few weeks. So if you found all this useful, please give this video a like and a sub to the channel would be highly appreciated. Thanks.